Previously on the Z1 podcast. Why would zombies avoid a place that's haunted? Maybe Zeds magically avoid this place because some supernatural mumbo jumbo that can't be explained. But it's got to be worth testing out though, right? For science? God, we're moving out of Farringdon. Can't believe it. Can you? Um, Aaron, can I fess up to something? Oh, plan B then. Warning. This is a work of fiction. Everything you're about to hear has been fabricated, including the character opinions, and all events that follow should be considered as entirely imaginary. Even the hamster isn't real. The town of Farringdon does exist, however, and it's actually all right. So go visit if you want. Have some fun in Farringdon. Do you remember that stash I put up there? Here it is. Well, what's left of it? A fray bentos. Nice. That's meat in it. Of sorts. What's the best before date? Um, December 22. Oh, we'll be all right. What are the other two cans? Not sure. The labels have fell off. Well, I say fell off. They've been gnawed off. Gnawed off? Have we got mice? Why? Did you want to eat them instead? I'd rather have the Frey Bentos. Nah. My best guess would be that it would have been Hendrix. A parting gift for us before he, you know. Saved my life? God, I remember that day. Well, most of it. I remember you being ill. No need for the air quotes. I'm not sick that often. I'll leave it out. You have more time off than Oscar Pistorius's PR team. But lucky, really. Otherwise, I would have been a goner that day. Right place, right time, I guess. Yeah, but I still don't understand why Hendrix was in the attic in the first place. You never explained that bit to me. I totally did at the time, but you were very concussed. He was in the attic because that's where your mum's cake was. So, instead of bringing the cake down from the attic, you took the hamster to the cake? I was ill. I wasn't exactly in tip-top condition to carry that behemoth brick your mum called a sponge down our rickety stepladder, and actually facing it probably would have made me vomit. So... As the mountain couldn't come to Mohammed, I took the hamster to the attic instead. What happened next? Look, are we opening these mystery cans or what? I'm starving. What are you doing? Trying to figure out what's in them. Never mind about that. Stop stalling and tell me how Hendrix escaped from the attic. And don't say he overpowered you. (laughs) No, it wasn't that ill. After he finished his dinner, I figured he needed a bit of exercise, so... I stuck him in his disco ball to let him run around a bit. Only... Only what? Well, I forgot about the hole in the roof down by the corner. Oh. He made a beeline straight for it. I tried to reach down and grab him, but the space was too tight. That's when I flung open the attic window and saw you coming back from your food run. I remember now. You looked all shifty and sweaty. I was about to yell out to you to look out for Hendrix, but before I could warn you, that Zed leapt out from the bush behind you. Katie! Behind you! Zed! And that's when I saw Hendrix. His ball had gotten wedged in the guttering, but the slant of it meant that he was going down it really fast, gathering speed, aided by his considerable size like a bowling ball down a freshly slicked alley. Disco lights flashing and playing that bloody tune. Is Rain a man? Uh-huh. Thank you, Jeremy and Ron, for that gift. Hendrix was moving so fast he flew off the side of the gutter and... Well, gravity took care of the rest. I didn't know what it was at first. It looked like a firework heading straight for me. Luckily, I managed to push the Z into its path. Then everything seemed to happen in slow motion. I just remember seeing the zombie's head explode in a flash of light. Shards of silver-coloured plastic splintering into me. Definitely kill of the week. Who for? Me or the hamster? Team effort, I think. I'm surprised Hendrix wasn't killed on the spot. Disco Ball must have protected him from the impact. So, what happened to him? Well, I tried to tell you that Hendrix had shot off into the bushes, but you were so out of it, you thought I was talking about THE Hendrix. Katie, look up! God, is that you? No, no, 
look a little further down. Huh? Hendrix, he's on the floor. I hope so. He died in 1970. The hamster, Katie. Our hamster. Hold up. Stay there. Yeah, God. Whatever you say. When are you going to clean up these heads, eh? The lazy bastard. Making I was in my own purple haze. By the time I come down to bring you back in, I'd lost sight of him and poof, he was gone. And we've never seen him since. Uh, we've never seen him since, right? Um. Do you think, and I know I'm probably overreaching for the impossible here, but do you think that one time in our marriage you could, I don't know, tell me what you fucking know? All right, Jesus. I thought I saw him. It could have been him. When and where? A few weeks after. Scrambling under the garage door at the World's End Cottage, down on Southampton Street. Might have been him. Conceivably, possibly him. Did you have a look inside? Yep. What did you find? Cats. Lots and lots of cats. Oh, Hendrix. Poor little guy. Maybe he could have put up a decent fight against one or two, but I counted at least 15. I mean, not all were alive, mind you. Cats are fucking brutal bastards. And you wanted to get one as a pet? Well, at worst he got eaten by a shit ton of cats or, if not, drowned in a sewage drain and got swept out of sea or got picked apart by crows, hunted down by ravenous foxes, squished by... Stop! Stop! Jesus! If we ever have kids, I'll read them the bedtime stories, yeah? At best he's still MIA, but given that was months ago, I don't fancy his chances. You once said to me that he didn't get eaten by zombies, though. How can you be sure of that? Have you seen the length of time it takes for them to bend down for anything? God, if they had the skills to tie shoelaces, it would take them a whole fucking year. Seriously, next time you're out there, put a pound coin on the floor and just watch it. Talking of going out there, now we're back in Farringdon, we need to get building this wall. Oh, are we still doing that? Yep. Go on, out you go. Supplies, supplies, supplies. Come and get these coins then, you filthy fuckers. What the actual fuck? Did, did you see, see that? that? Wait, Wait, what, what did, did you, you see? see? You, you go, go first. first. Okay, okay, uh, street lights. They, they flashed on, two or three seconds at most, but there was power, there was definitely power. Did you see it? No, no, no the TV turned on and off again. The clock on the cooker flashed, your Nintendo Wii flickered and then died again. Oh no, my poor me. I hope he's not a Zed. He'd be shit at Wii Bowling if he was. So, is there someone in charge now? Are they turning on the power again? What's going on? I don't know. This could be huge. This could change everything. Jesus. OK, think, think, think. Uh, turn on anything electrical. Anything you got. The noisier, the better. The more vibration, the better. I'm not plugging that in. What? Oh. Wow. Uh, no, uh, we just need to hear and feel it as loud as pos. If it happens when we're sleeping, then we've got a chance of hearing it. Wow, this is development. This is progress. OK, let's go. You've been sat in the middle of what I can only describe as the ultimate man cave for a whole day now. I'm going to die from tripping over all these wires. What are you doing? There's been nothing since yesterday. Maybe they're just testing once a day. Maybe... They've uh, tripped the electric grid and someone's working on it. When was it? Yesterday afternoon? It's got to be about that time now. Aaron, it was a freak event. A local discharge. Perhaps a Zed ate through a cable, sending a bajillion watts everywhere. Don't get your hopes up. The power isn't coming back on. What's that? Sounded like the water pipes. Turn on the taps. Nothing. It could have been anything, Aaron. Aaron, Aaron, there's been nothing, nothing now for ten months. No power, no water, no grids are working, no reservoirs are churning, no wind turbines turning. And even if they were, there's no one around to run the systems. So please, let it go for me. <sighs> OK.
Hey, we're just speaking to this, do we? Hello. I can't hear anything. Maybe it's a bad light, Edna. Speak louder. Oh, no, wait. The man is in my ear. He's saying, there's no one there. No one there? Oh, people are just listening, are they? Who's listening right now? He said he doesn't know. Doesn't know? Sounds like he needs to analyse his qualitative data. You're, you're probably right, Edna. Why are we here? We're here to tell all the dears out there that there's a Halloween special coming. When's that, then? Sunday, the 31st of October, 10 o'clock, GMT. Oh, yes, please. GMT, not GNT, you deaf old twit. Oh, that's not good for me. I'll be at bed by then. You're one dead, Fred. You don't need sleep. And you want to be listening, because it's about our story as zombies, see? So you make sure you follow, like and funscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Funscribe? They'll know what I mean. Speak to you soon, dears.